morning guys and welcome back to another vlog miss another day of vlogging i skipped yesterday <laughs> honestly because i didn't do nothing and i slept like basically all day i slept at least until like between one and two o'clock and then i didn't do anything i just rested my room is dusty because <laughs> the people came the men that just blew my room they came and redid my my ceiling fan they added me a whole nother light. And they still have to come back to do my my other um, essential cords and stuff. Not essential cords, but my wall sockets and stuff on this side of the room. So I just said I'm not even worried about trying to do stuff because every time I try to clean my room, they come back and make it dusty again. So I'm not. After I finally like, got myself together, me and my mama then, we went to Walmart, came back, and then, yeah, I really did a wig in one day, in a few hours. I mean, I didn't actually construct the wig, but like I customized it, styled it, all of that. Which is the wig that you guys seen in the beginning that I was styling so that I could take pictures. Which it is on my website currently if you guys would like to purchase. And it's only $145. Very affordable. $145. Where you gonna find a custom, like ready to wear customized wig for $145, okay? And you can do payment plan. So, yeah, I'm tired. I'm always tired. But no, we was really up to like 3 o'clock last night. We because Lo was up to kicking and squirming and living his best life. Like, y'all, I'm like, it's 3 in the morning. Chill. <laughs> Chill. Like, I'm going to have a night out as a baby because... I mean, I be up a little late too. Usually, I keep him up to like one or two o'clock. I not even two, like one be like around the latest. But we was literally up till three, like, and he was getting a little too active at three. So I had to let him know, hey, calm it down, calm it down. And the other day, he was trying to turn like, you too big for this now. Like, you gotta stay where you at. Like, cause usually he feels like he done been in like three different positions since we started getting ultrasounds and stuff. And he trying to flip again, like, no, sir. Where where you got room to flip? Like, he had my stomach sideways. Like, he was in there sideways like this. <laughs> and I laid, I was laying on my side. So, I'm hoping that he is not breached. Like, stay how you are. Because soon you're going to be too big to, to go back. Literally, I laid back on my back. And I was just trying to, like, rub my stomach to get him, like, just to, to go back. Because, like, no, that's uncomfortable. You too big. No. But anyway, yeah, so number one, y'all, also, like, I mean, like, this is starting to be a crisis, okay? My baby shower dress is still not here, okay? And I have to get it altered because I'm pretty sure it's not going to fit because I had to order in the 2X. Currently, like, I can fit a size large and fit it, like, comfortably. So, of course, I'm going to have to get this 2X altered. And the website that I ordered it from, it said processing time, like, is up to 24 hours. That's the day. Okay, cool. Because I ordered it on a Saturday. Okay, cool. So, you got Monday. You got all day Monday to, you know, get my order out, basically. Because you said 24 hours. So, Monday, it ships. So, processing time is 24 hours. And then, after processing time, shipping is three to seven business days. Right? So, I'm expecting to get this in a minimum of eight business days. So, Monday hit, they claim it ships. I'm doing my little happy dance. Not realizing that all they did was create my shipping label. So they still got the package. So this dress does not actually reach USPS until Friday. Friday. So when it reached you the um, when it reached USPS, they said estimated arrival time Tuesday. Y'all, it's freaking Thursday. Where is my freaking dress? My baby shower is Saturday. How am I gonna have time to get this thing altered and stuff if I don't have it? Like, I'm, ah. And it's crazy because literally, like, I was looking at their reviews and stuff because it, I, I got introduced to them through Facebook. So, like, I was already kind of like, mm, could be a little scammy. So, I check them out on Instagram. I look at, not their page, but people who tag them in their dresses and stuff. And I found a girl who had just had her baby shower dress that I wanted. She was wearing it, everything. So I'm like, you know, what size did you wear? Like, did you get shipping and stuff? And she was like, it only took six days from when she ordered it to when she got it. So I'm like, what's the problem? Like, where is my dress? 
I'm getting upset. I'm getting upset. But I'm hoping that it comes today. Because if not today, because if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Whew. Anyway, so today I'm going to put my wig on later. Not now. Like, I don't want to mess anything up. But she's over there still clipped up and stuff. I'm probably going to keep the clips and, and stuff for her until Saturday. Because I just don't want to mess up anything. I need to wax. So I'm going to wax my face today. Wax my underarms. I was going to go to the beach and get waxed, but I don't have anybody to drive me to the beach. And lower. Low. Low, you should be sleeping. Go to sleep. You're here just kicking me up. But anyway, but I can't find anybody to drive me. And if you know me, like, I'm always tired. Like, driving long distances is just not for me anymore. I cannot. The last time that I did it was for my gender reveal. And when I tell y'all I was fighting to get home, I was fighting. I was sleepy. I was so sleepy. Could, like, I couldn't do nothing to keep me up. So, I'm just not going to take that chance. I was going to try to take myself, but, y'all, that's scary. That is scary. Driving on the highway and you're nowhere near home, like you got another 30 minutes and like I'll be like, like I'm not, I can't, that's scary. I can't do that. So no, I'm probably going to go ahead and wax myself before I take a shower. Wax, I'm going to take a shower, do like my face routine and stuff. And I'm hoping by the time I do all of that because it is, what time is it? Where is my phone at? It's, it's 12. So I'm hoping by the time that I do all of that, my mail has, will have done run, ran, whatever. Oh yeah, I had one package today. So I done packaged that up and put it in the mailbox. Um, she ordered one of my pretty girl velour suits. Oh yeah, y'all, Um, the giveaway has been started. So y'all, these people been talking about Shein wigs. And I really want to like look into it because personally, like I have a few um 150% density wigs on my website, but I just didn't think that like people still wore 150% density. But everybody is going wild over she in wigs and they're all 150% density. Yeah, I get sidetracked so easily, like it's it's kind of sad. But yeah, oh yeah, and I'm mean gonna ask you guys also. I know you guys probably like I'm talking a lot, but so anyway, I'm trying to debate the direction I want to go with my business going into the new year. I kind of feel like I want to veer back to the main focus of my business being like lashes, hair, like little small item things like that, and not so much clothes anymore. Just because like I feel like you know, this year has really been about clothes. And yes, like, I do good with clothes. But I just, I don't know. I really don't know. I kind of want to keep them too, though. Because, like, I do very much in the future want to have a storefront. And I want it to, like, be a one-stop shop type of thing. Like, you can come in, get you a good old wig, get you a good old um, outfit. You know, your lashes, your all of that good stuff. But I just don't know. I feel like I have so many, so much clothes sitting. I'm sitting on so many clothes that it's just clutter. And I don't want to have all that clutter. And at the same time, I kind of, I feel like as I get clothes in, I'm not putting as many clothes out. Like, I like to order and stay with the trends and get all this stuff. But I'm not, they're not selling. And then some of the, like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's an idea. I only got a few weeks to figure it out. Because, you know, New Year's coming very soon. Plus, also, it's easier for me to promote hair, lashes, and stuff like that versus clothes. Especially now, like, y'all been pregnant seven months. That's seven months of me not being able to promote my clothes. Unless it's, like, big stuff that covers, you know, cover up my baby. Because he can't be just out and about. Well, he can, because I could. But the way you clothes be fitting, I be looking real good and stupid. So, I just, like, no. But anyway, yeah, I done babbled enough. Um... I might go get my wax and stuff ready so that I can actually do that because I will procrastinate so hard that I don't get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, plug my wax up so that I can wax. Take you guys in the bathroom with the wax. If you guys want to see me like a full waxing thing, I have a whole video on my channel. I will link it where I waxed myself so you guys can watch that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wax my face and wax under my arms. Try to get my mama to do it, but she didn't want to do it. But you know, whatever. We forgive her. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But yeah, one of my friends said that my lips are swollen up. <laughs> Guys, like my face looks so pregnant. Like I look so pregnant. Look at my nose, my face. It's just fat. And she was like, girl, look at them lips. I need to take some pictures. 
Bring a plug specs though. So yeah, after all I talked about not driving to the beach, I gotta drive to the freaking beach. Dress still ain't come. I don't have time for this shit. I'm not about to sit here and try to depend on when this dress is coming. Just know when they do come, it's getting returned as fuck. And they ain't gotta worry about me purchasing a single mother nothing. I ain't ordering not nothing else from them ever. Ever try to find some, somebody to drive me to the beach but you just can't baby daddy so un fucking dependable i don't know who the fuck i laid y'all i don't know who the fuck i made a child with this nigga is undependable you can't depend on him to do shit not even answer the fucking phone <sighs> this right here shit y'all i'm so pissed it don't mean a since i am then everybody just want to ask me questions like i want to know asking me all these questions is not going to help nothing get done like that's what people don't be understanding that's what pisses me out like that's what pisses me off about being asked so many questions like that is not going to help me like how does what this dress look like going to help me go get a dress if you're if you can't take me to go get a dress it shouldn't matter what the dress look like leave me alone then well it might come tomorrow like i don't got time for no mice it was supposed to be here tuesday we're here sitting on thursday and i still don't see it i'm not i can't move off no mice like that's i just if you're not talking to me to to find a solution i don't want to hear nothing like i don't people don't understand that then they get mad with you when you just tell them like yo I'm, all these questions ain't gonna help i just i don't have i don't got time for that now they got an attitude with you. I have an attitude. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care because bottom line, have that, hey, you have an attitude. It's not going to help me get a dress either. Like, we want to get down to the degree. Just, you know, let's just hope and pray for some traveling mercy and that I make it to and from as safely as possible. As safely as possible because at this point, I really, any of, anything else don't matter. I don't care. I could have made me a dang on wax appointment for all of this. Cause y'all waxing my underarms is no, like that shit, no. I see why I stopped doing it. It hurts. I be sweating too much. I can't lie. It just doesn't work for me. I can't. But yeah, so I'm headed to the beach. I'ma try to go to Windsor. Cause that's like the only place that I can see that had dresses. That's not like you getting married. Or you're the, the mother of the bride. Like, I'm not trying to look like that. Like, I still want to be cute. And like I said, I'm not that big. Like, I can fit like a large and slim thing. So if I could just find it in a large and it's not like restrictive, I can fit it. I can make it work. I just got to try to find some. So if I can't find it in white, which I can get some sparkly like it's New Year's Eve. Like, I don't, it's going to have to be some. Because I have nothing nothing in my closet because everybody I like black I'm not I don't want to wear black to my baby shower like this shit just yeah I'm so alone I done cry I done get all that like this I'm so alone oh I'm so alone and what be making me mad is like I be ready to block this I be ready to block people after like shit like that like I be so ready to block. Like I'm, I am a blocking person. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, I want them to see this. I want them to feel this. I want them to. Do that. I don't know. I want you blocked. I want you to not have no type of fucking access to me because that, that doesn't benefit me at all. So why do you need access to me? But I can't block my baby daddy, and I ain't care. Like I think that's the stupidest thing. If I should be able to block the fuck out of me. Now I got to try to do all this today because I'm so busy tomorrow. 
Like literally, I have a point. I have two appointments in the morning. I have to get my nails done. By the time all that happens, it's gonna be afternoon time. I wouldn't have time to do nothing else. Like, and I gotta go drive to my dad's house so that I can be close to where to get my makeup done on Saturday. Like, I just oh, I'm so. Old. Cause if I knew the dress, like if I knew when they told me, oh, it's gonna be here Tuesday, that it wasn't gonna be here Tuesday, I could have ordered something else, to, like a backup. Like, I don't need to spend the last thing I need to spend to take on top of all this, y'all. I'll be super blown, pissed. Don't talk to me, man. Like, yeah. on the bright side, I did sell the wig that I put up. So, so that's good. That's all I got for the bright side, y'all. Yeah, I'm just so blown. Like, my energy has just been all the way down. I'm upset with the world. And I'm supposed to be sitting here trying to make these baby shower games because Amazon playing around. Like, at this point, Amazon need to be refund refunding everybody their Prime membership because y'all not Prime either. Ain't no two-day damn shipping with y'all either. You get everybody their money back because this shit pisses. I'm so ready. I'm ready to, to talk to these people. Because on their refund thing, it says you can only get store credit. Okay, store credit. I'm ready to fuss. I'm ready to go. I want my motherfucking money. Motherfucking money. Because y'all processing time and y'all shipping time it does not match up. And I want I, I want I want money. I want cash. I want money back in my account. I want no store credit. I don't want shelves from y'all. Because if I'm going to order it and I'm not going to get it, ain't no point of me ordering for y'all ever again. Like, I want money, man. I don't want no type of store credit. This is y'all problem. Because how you sit here and send me a tracking number on Monday, but don't give UPS, USPS my package until Friday. No. I want some money. I tried to call them today, but it, it wouldn't go through. It just kept going, kept going, don't shit. So I'm going to email them and I'm ready to go. Y'all need to update y'all y'all times. You know that you can't keep on with that. And I'm make this. But anyway, I'm about to listen to some music. Yeah, the more like when I talk, like I just I, I can't. I really can't. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. Like I'm tired. Every time I try to do something, yeah. Every time I try to do some shit, like some shit just gotta fucking happen. That and that's the that's the reason why I sell clothes and shit because you can't depend on these damn come to send you what you order when they say they gonna send it. You can't depend on them. They just they just do whatever. But like I said, I asked the girl and she said it took six days from when she ordered it to when she got it. It's done been over the eight, the the seven shipping days that you told me that it will be here. So they made eight. So how she got in the six days? I don't know. She must have had a special code or some shit. It ain't worth it. Y'all let me get this. Y'all need my GPS. Y'all know need my GPS to go from A to B all the time. So, yeah, I just, I'll check my you whenever I get this. <laughs> got me a dress it's gonna have to work i got to get me a bra i'm just probably gonna steal one of my mama bras <laughs> yeah i've been choking on everything i can't do anything without choking yeah i went ended up having to get my dress from from windsor have you pronounce it lifesaver and then i stopped and got my birthday gift because my birthday had passed from sephora and i just got the lanique laneige this is all they had which was i mean what i wanted to get anyway and it just comes with these things so you got a water bank moisture cream 
a water sleeping mask and a lip sleeping mask i might try these out tonight. but yeah i got those today and then now i'm about to find something to eat and head on the road get on the road to head back because it's five o'clock and y'all get dark and i don't like being out when it's dark because i still gotta do my hair like i need to go to bed anyway so yeah i'm about to head home figure out what i'm about to eat probably some mcdonald's that's the easiest thing to eat while driving so stop and get some mcdonald's and head home i still have to do my underarms like i have the nair because waxing no not doing it i need a nair do my hair and go to bed i want to do another wig because my wig the wig i made the ball one this morning is so but i don't want to be up all night yeah once i start i need to finish i'll probably make another wig saturday after my baby shower anyway like i said y'all let me get on this road so i can get home i can wait when i'm at the house okay yeah i'm home i done I'm about my mind. <laughs> I'm ready to end. I also need my beard. Washing. <laughs> but now I'm just, I, I did my wig. We're gonna see how it looks. I need to put the lace on. I tried to do the bob cap and I think I'm gonna regret the bob cap. I think I'm gonna regret Listen. Anyway, so I'm about to go to bed. I'm editing and finishing and realized that I didn't do an outro. So this is the outro. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And you'll see like how the hair looks and stuff. So this is season signing off. Hopefully I'll see you in the next day. All the other good stuff.